When people use the term self-talk, they're referring to their inner monologue, the voice inside their head that narrates what's going on and helps guide them through tasks. But as we all know, that voice isn't always so kind. While everyone can be self-critical sometimes, when a child's self-talk is mostly negative or extremely negative in certain situations, it's a problem worth investigating. I'm Emma Woodward, a clinical psychologist in the Anxiety Disorder Center at the Child Mind Institute. And in this three-part video series, we're discussing negative self-talk, why kids do it, when to worry about it, and how parents can help. Let's start with five reasons a child might be engaging in negative self-talk. Just like adults, kids often make statements about themselves that could be described as all or nothing thinking. For example, when a child misses one goal in a soccer game, they might say, I stink at soccer, even if they usually play well. For a child locked in all or nothing thinking, missing a goal isn't just a single mistake. It's blown up to encompass how they see themselves and their abilities. Clinicians sometimes call this globalized thinking. And when it persists, it can have a serious impact on a child's self-esteem. Children who set impossibly high standards for themselves, children who are perfectionists, are also prone to engage in negative self-talk. These kids can be extra hard on themselves, trying to meet a quote-unquote perfect standard. Other kids might engage in negative self-talk because they're too cool for school. Self-deprecating statements like, I'm so gonna fail that test, can be a form of social protection. As kids get older, their social lives become more important. In certain circles, it may not be cool to be smart, but kids will also say negative things about themselves to beat others to the punch, especially if they're insecure or unsure of their abilities. So it's worth noting if your child consistently puts themselves down in the context of a certain class or activity, it might indicate a larger issue. Negative self-talk can also come from bullying. When a child is being bullied, they can easily internalize the insults of their peers and begin to believe them. But with support from good friends and trusted adults, kids can begin to reframe the way they think about themselves. Lastly, negative self-talk can point to a lack of resilience, the ability to bounce back from disappointment or hardship and keep going when things are difficult. Kids are naturally resilient, but it takes practice to get good at picking yourself up and moving on when things don't go your way. If a child regularly responds to disappointment with negative self-talk that seems out of proportion to the situation, they might need extra help building those skills. For more information on building resilience, visit the Family Resource Center at childmind.org. To learn more about negative self-talk, including signs that it might be a problem, click on the next video in this three-part series.